Hello and welcome to Me and My Golf TV. I'm Piers Ward. You've joined us at the Asprey. Now, Andy, it's go low. What do the viewers have in store for them today? Okay, we're on the footing green here at the Asprey and we are showing you how to hole more short putts and hopefully involving a bit of pressure. So make sure you stay tuned to take charge of your game. Okay, so it's time for Go Low. This is where we answer your questions on your game to help you go low. Yes, make sure you get involved, guys. Go to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram today and post your questions on today's topic. We'd love to hear what you've got to say and hopefully we can answer your questions. Get there, get posting using the hashtag Go Low. Right, okay, so today, Andy, we actually put up to vote on putting drills, okay? So putting drills, improve the putting. We wanted to either go with long putting or short putting, and short putting won it by quite a considerable margin. So we thought, well, let's give you one of the best drills we can give you, and it's the five under, five over game. Yeah. Okay? So uh, I think what we'll do, Andy, we've actually six foot in the hole. Shall we get you to start off first of all? Yeah. And we'll just talk about this, and we'll talk about how important this length putt is and a few stats on it. So the whole objective is here now. Andy has got this putt now to go one under par. So if he holds this putt, he goes one under par. Okay, so he is now one under par. Now, the second putt is for a par. So if he holds it, he stays at one under. If he misses, he goes back to level. So you can see what we're doing. We're going to alternate all the way around the hole. A few bobbles there, actually, on the first one. Well, actually still went in, so he's still one under par. Now he has got this to go two under par. Now, you would hold, you'd have to hold out, so if you knock it five foot past, you've got to knock that one in as well. You don't just get one go at it. Okay, so he stays at one under par. Now the game ends when, he's gonna hold it, the game ends when, some, when you are either five under or five over. So it may take a little bit of time, but it's a fantastic way of practicing pressure and these pressure putts when you're out on the golf course. And this is a crucial range as well, Andy. We hear this a lot that you know, people wanna be more consistent at holding these putts. I put him off there, obviously. And you know, we even had one comment from someone saying, how can you give, can you give me a drill which will 100% of the time knock the ball in the hole from six feet? Andy, can we do I'd, that? I'd love to give you that drill because I'd, <laughs> I'd be doing it myself. Well, if you, exactly. We wouldn't tell you, actually, if we did that. We'd be on the tour giving it a go ourselves. So look, let's give you an idea on the stats. You know, from five to 10 feet, 55% of putts are knocked in on the best players in the world. So the PJ Tour, the best players in the world, 55% from five to 10 feet are knocked in the hole. So you know what? It's possible you could knock it in every time, but it's not very probable. Andy, I've lost track of score there. I don't know what you are there. Uh, I think I'm level par now. I've, <laughs> I think I've, I've lost track par. of it as well. But I've, track. I've hold three mysteries, so I'm level okay. par. Okay, so it's difficult, obviously, with me talking, but the whole idea of this, as we said, it's about practicing the, the pressure of being on the golf course, the five under five over. You can do this teamed up with somebody, you know, record your scores, see how long it takes you to do. If you need to get slightly closer, go to that five foot mark, then go there. If you become very good at it, go to the 10 foot mark. And the good thing with this, Andy, is that because we're going around the hole, the putt is different every time. We've got different breaks. Yeah, and I think, I think one thing, one really important thing, as you mentioned, Pierce, is that most people, when they're in this situation, they expect to hold it. So they're very disappointed if you don't hold it. But what you've got to remember is if you stand over the golf, over the putt, thinking, well, look, the best players in the world yep. miss half of these. Yep. Don't be so disappointed if you miss it. Yes, we would like to hold it, but don't put so much pressure on yourself to actually think, well, you should hold every one yep. of these because you shouldn't. Yeah, the best players in the world don't. So, you know, it's, it's, it's almost taking a little bit of pressure off saying, well, look, yeah, I could, you know, I could hold this, but if you miss it, don't be so hard on yourself. It's a good point there. Tiger's mindset is obviously he's trying to will the ball in the hole, but Tiger's mindset is, well, if I pick the right line, if I hit the ball on that line with the right pace, it could go in. So it will probably go in. But if he misses, he's not, at the, he's not at the mindset where, oh, I should have made that, and oh no, my world has just been destroyed because I've missed that putt. So you're thinking, yes, if I do everything right, it could go in. But as Andy said there, don't get too disappointed if Definitely. you miss. And that leads on then to maybe, you know, sometimes compounding a, a problem. If you're standing on the next tee thinking, oh, I should have hold that putt, I should have hold that putt, that, you know, you're already taking that, the carrying that over to the next tee. Whereas if you're thinking, well, actually, I've missed one, you know, that, there's a shot that I've missed, but it then helps you sort of go to the next tee and sort of think, okay, I can forget about it and then move on with your game. It really does help. Okay, brilliant. All right, so have a go at that one, Andy. Let's have a go. One more go. So we're not going to obviously watch you get to five under or five over. So this one is to complete the game. If you knock it in, you win. If you miss, you lose. He's just so, won. Four miss, four in, level par. I'll take that. Okay, so there you have it. It's a very simple way to practice your putting, but a little bit of pressure on yourself. Sure. Make sure you post your comments down below. Let us know, do you make the five under mark? If you make the five over mark, never mind, but 
Let us know if you made it 500. 500. Come yes. on. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Uh, lots of videos going up every week. And also don't forget to check out meandmygolf.com for lots more of great instructional videos. And we'll see you next time on Golo. Thanks, Thanks for watching.